I find that terminology degrading. Okay? That I personally, because I'm not a birthing person, okay? I'm a woman. What's wrong with being called a birthing person? Well, first of all, um, not all women even have the capacity to get pregnant. So it's degrading to them to be essentially to have their their womanhood questioned if if like they're not what a point unable if they're unable to have uh, kids to begin with yes this is a continuation of a video i did few hours ago anna kasperia and patrick pet david have this interview anna is going to say some things that make sense but there is one particular thing she said that got everyone offended I don't know, sometimes when I look at this lady, you know, I used to think, you know, she cannot even think to this extent. It is important. I show you some of these videos. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. It will do you no harm. If you share the video out. Everyone takes their ball and they go home. Okay. So to answer your question, you are correct. I, I do not like to be bullied or pressured into saying things or believing things that I do not believe. I find that terminology degrading. Okay? That I personally, because I'm not a birthing person. Okay? I'm a woman. What's wrong with being called a birthing person? Well, first of all, um, not all women even have the capacity to get pregnant. So it's degrading to them to be essentially to have their their womanhood questioned if, they, if like they're not what a point unable yeah. if they're unable to have uh, kids to begin with but also i mean look this is this is the thing that annoys me about this entire issue and conversation because they'll turn around and they'll say no one's calling you a birthing okay um does someone need to call an individual who finds the n-word offensive the n-word in order for him or her to find it offensive or degrading. You get what I'm saying? What needs to be called that word to find it problematic or to have an issue with it? And besides which, I was called that, okay? Yes, in a medical setting, but this is a doctor who knows I'm a biological woman, call me a woman. But I had a conversation with that doctor. Why did you feel the need to call me a birthing person? Like, where did that come Mm -hmm. from? And in California, medical providers are basically like told that there will be penalties if they don't use the proper terminology or if they're caught doing anything discriminatory uh, toward the trans community. Now, if they're actually doing something discriminatory. Yes, I read through the comment section of this video. I realized a lot of people are even furious. Like California should not even be in the United States because there are certain places unlivable. Some court places like Los Angeles and California, though some places are livable, when you take a look at Libras now coming out to call out the way it is, it took them a very long time. They could not do this at first. It is simply because they realize they are losing their audience. So to balance back, it is to have real conversations on things that deem real necessary. Medical providers absolutely should face consequences. But the idea that we should change all of our terminology, even toward women who want to be called women, in order to be inclusive is ridiculous to me. Now, if a trans person wants to be called that, fantastic. I respect it. I'll do it. I'll engage in it. But I think in the context of my relationship with my doctors, I want to be called a woman. It's not that difficult. It is my personal preference. Okay? That doesn't mean that I in any way believe that transgender people should be treated differently or that they should be discriminated against. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Or that they should not live lives of dignity. I have had an entire career defending them, supporting them. And this one issue led to ridiculous outrage among a fringe component of that community. They are not representative of the entire trinity. And for that fringe component, if they think that they're going to shut me up and force me to say things I don't believe, they've got another thing coming, okay? I'm going to say what I think every every single time. Do you think they're crossing the line a little bit and it's getting a little bit too ridiculous in certain sections? Yes. Of okay. Yeah. And who's, They turn people off with and, it. And, and, and again, it is a fringe component of the trendy, and they don't even realize how counterproductive they're being. And, and who's allowed for that to happen? Who's, who's been a part of that becoming a reality? 
Who do you think? Look, I think most people want to do the right thing. Okay. And so they want to be as accepting and tolerant and inclusive as possible. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to come across as being in any way discriminatory. And I respect that. I think that it comes from a good place, but they shut their brains off sometimes and just go along with things without considering maybe some of the unexpected consequences, how others might feel about what they're engaging in. I think that there's this conflation um, with the gay community and the transgender community, because think about it. Like, I think a lot of people on the on the left think of the trans community the same way they thought of the gay community, right? Like, yeah, why not legalize gay marriage? Like, what's wrong with that? Who's it hurting? But when it comes to some trans issues, there is a lot on the line, right? Like when we do talk about kids, you want to make sure that we have a system in place where there's a proper protocol implemented to ensure that we're not transitioning kids who might not actually be transgender. You think it's okay to transition kids under the age of 18, even if the parents consent? What do you mean, medically? Medically. Anna, you seem very smart to me, and I think you have common sense. <laughs> yeah, I do have common sense. I, I think it's a very difficult question to answer, okay? I think that it is a problem when certain states completely ban it, because there are... Yes, recently the Biden administration said, mm, it is wrong to transition kids. After a very long time for them to take this, I saw articles, I think just last week, a lot of people reacting to it. This topic is actually not being covered like people used to do simply because of what was happening to people. And they abandon it. People don't pay a focus into this. Yes, in as much, I don't always agree with her. She makes sense here. If you see a Libra calling things the way she is doing on this video, hmm, amazing. We should give credit where it is due. It has taken a lot of people courage to come out and talk about these issues. I think I started doing videos about this, you know, but when I realized they were now coming after people, you know, putting out real information of what is going on, I had to delete a lot of videos on this platform. Now taking a look into these issues, California putting up laws, if you do this, you do this, and now saying, oh, I'm a woman, don't refer me like this, I should be able to say what I have in mind, we should upload half of that. I understand a lot of people disagree with her, but we should look at her sometimes when she said things. Major insurer gives brutal ultimatum to entire state. State Farm issued a 31 percent 